Shalom, shalom to the elect of Yashallah. This is your brother Pawaria coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Millstone Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem with Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akans out there that's pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is Don't Fall Into the Trap of Confusion. Because in these last days, there's a lot of confusion out there. All right. Coming from these other camps, coming from these churches. So, hey, you don't want to fall into them traps, man. All right. The scripture talks about the deceiver and the deceiver is his. You don't want to be deceived by the, these wayward doctrines that's out here, man. All right. Uh, because we know when you read in um, First Corinthians 14 and 33, it says that the most high power is not the author of confusion. So the Lord is not going to give one camp 50 percent of the truth, the other camp, another camp, the other 50 or this camp, 80 percent. No, the Lord is going to give his whole 100 percent truth out there, man. All right. That's how he's moving. He that he don't move no other way, man. All right. So he's there's a there's somebody out there that has the 100 percent truth, man. All right. And one thing you want to do is pray to the Lord that he guides you to that 100% truth, man, so that you don't be deceived with these other camps out there, man. And, and you got a, hey, and that's why the first thing you want to do is you pray to the Lord, pray and fast to the Lord that he guide you and lead you to the right doctrine. Cause there's a, hey, it's plenty of, of uh, prophets out there, false prophets, out there that's lying to you whether it's ignorantly ig ignorantly or on purpose man you know what i'm saying to appease the simple okay so uh let's get this um and first john This is 1 John, we're going to read verse, uh, chapter 2, and verse um, 20. It says, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. So we know all things, the 100% truth, the things that's going to lead us to have salvation. To receive salvation, the Lord is going to give us the 100% truth, man. Which means that you're going to have the true name to call upon. All right. And you're going to know what the RFID chip is. That that mark, that that, that M-A-R to the K. Uh, of, of the beast, you're going to know what that is. You know what I'm saying? And these are things that you're going to know, man. But you got camps out there that they... they they switching it up. They remixing it. They going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like you got an example of, of Nate. Talking about the name. You could call the, the Lord whatever you want. And then tell him, say don't nobody know the name. And then it's another time you saying uh, that we know the name. And just playing around with the Lord's name, man. All right. Using the name in vain. All right. You got camps that's talking about you got sex on the on the Sabbath, telling you you know all these different things, man. The that the R the the that M M O T B is this and that, but not telling you the the whole truth, man. So you don't want to be de deceived. You know what I'm saying they they trying to make uh they, you got somebody saying that Israel is is the church to try to include everybody into the to this doctrine man the lord is only for israel yasha all right his chosen people man he's not dealing with no no other nation the scripture says these things man but you got people out there that's trying to you know confuse you deceive you you got vocab out there man he's a, that weirdo that you know what i'm saying that's 
trying his best to to confound the truth, man. But you can't do nothing for the truth against. You can't do nothing against the truth before the truth, man. So when you try to come up against the truth, you 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 come to find out to be a liar, man. All right. And the people you're deceiving are people that, hey, that's meant to be deceived, man. All right. Because the elect is going to hear this word and they're going to hear it and they're going to hold fast to it until the end and not be deceived with all these wayward doctrines out there. All right. You know, you, you so I mean, and the truth is, is not up for debate no more, man. The truth is, is not up for debate. All right. It is what it is. All right. If you want to believe in the virgin birth or if you don't want to believe in reincarnation or you think you could just call the name, whatever you want, continue to call him sweet Jesus, all of those things, man. Hey, we come into the time where the Lord is not about to wink at your ignorance no more. All right. It's just plain and simple, man. Well, um, but read knowing is verse uh, 21, 1 John 2 and 21. It says, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it and that no lie is of the truth. And so I remember hearing a camp saying they, they, that, that they might only have 50 percent, 60 percent of the truth. So why would you follow out the camp like that, man? You know. Which means they're lying. They're liars. They're deceiving you. Misguiding you. You don't want to follow out the, uh, 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 somebody that say they only got 50% of the truth, man. You don't want nobody working on your car that only know half of what he's doing. You know? So, hey, in these days, man, this is the time, hey... Like I say, man, this is the, the information age. It ain't no reason for no one to be but be deceived or confused. But of course, if you is not a part of that number, a part of the elect, these things is gonna steer you steer you wrong, man. You're gonna fall into them traps. Um This is second chronicles. 18 and I'll start with verse 21 it says and he said I will go out and be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets and the Lord said thou shalt entice him and thou shalt also prevail Uh, so like it says and thou shalt also prevail go out and do even so now therefore behold the lord have put a lion spirit in the mouth of these that prophets of these thy prophets and the lord has spoken evil against thee all right so you got plenty of prophets out there you got more false prophets than you do of the true prophets. So which means it's going to be more people being deceived. Than it is that's going to hear this word. Because the Lord is only dealing with a remnant. You know. It's not meant for everybody to get it. This is a treasure. Even Yahweh Shai went. Hey, he, he spoke in parables. Because it wasn't meant for everybody to get it. And in these last days man. It's, it's not meant. It's only meant for the elect sake man. The elect is going to hear these words and, and take heed to them and repent and live and rehearse these righteous acts, you know what I'm saying, to the best of their ability. All right. So with these other camps, man, that that's deceiving you, man. Hey, if, if you don't repent and, and follow out to the true doctrine, you're going to be destroyed, man. And, and like people like like Bishop Nate. I don't see how people he still got followers, man. The way he switch up, <laughs> man, he switch up the doctrine every other week, you know. 
And the scripture tells you uh, in Proverbs 24 and 21 to, to meddle not with them that are uh, given unto change. This dude, he, he, he's fickle, man. He changed like the weather. You know? So that's why it's important to, you know what I'm saying, to continue in the things which thou has learned. Let's get that scripture. In uh, 2 Timothy. <clears throat> this is uh, 2 Timothy. 3. And I'll start with. Uh, 13. It says. But evil men and seducers. Shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. So it's a lot of deception out here, man. <laughs> the two thirds is going to be deceived, man, because it, it, it's written, it, you know, it's written that two thirds of our people is going to be destroyed. You know. Hosea four and six, man, I tell you, you know, because you reject my word, the Lord is going to reject you. All right, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, man. All right, but read knowing this verse 14, it says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of. All right, so when you hear this word, man, you got to be fully persuaded in your mind that, that this is the truth. And you can't be deceived when some wayward doctrine or a new doctrine come out, it sound good, it look good, it feel good, but it ain't good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got the true doctrine, man. It ain't no wavering now, man. All right? Can't be deceived, man, no more. The elect is not going to be, de be deceived. All right, reading it again, it says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and has been assured of knowing of whom thou has learned them. Okay. Now, now, you know, starting out, I know like me, I, you know, I was, you know, listening to different camps, but I, I prayed to the Lord that the Lord got me to, to the right doctrine. I didn't want to be deceived no more. I felt like I was already deceived by these Christian churches and lied to, you know what I'm saying? All my life, you know what I'm saying, being lied to, being deceived. So, you know, even at the beginning, I, I, hey, I mean, I, I was I was calling Yeshua because that was, you know, that's what a lot of the camps was teaching. OK. And it did. But after the time, hey, it wasn't it wasn't that much long, man, before, you know, I, um. You know, ran into Great Millstone. I met the brother of uh, the elder Elton Nathaniah in Chicago. Met him and then and met all the elders there and stuff, man. And you know, but but within that time, man, I you know I was reading and studying. You know what I'm saying on my own to make sure that these things are true because I didn't want to be deceived, man. No more. All right. But uh that's pretty much it on that. Um let's get first John. Pages be sticking, boy. But this is First John four. I'm gonna start right at the top. Separate these pages. All right, it says First John four and one, but love. 
Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high power. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. All right, so you got to try the spirit by the spirit, man. Pray that the Lord put his Holy Spirit on you to, to have discernment. To be able to see, to be able to hear when somebody is, is on bullshit. You know? That, that's just in this, they deceiving the people, trying to get make money off of you. You know? Or just to appease you, yeah, just to appease you so that you can bring that, that bag. All right? So, hey, man, but where are these false prophets that's out here? Because there are many of them. All right. But. uh, Let's get this in Matthews. And, and that's why uh, our apostles, man, they said, hey, don't don't believe what, what we say. Look these things up. And see if they true. And yeah, see if they true, man. Alright? We gotta be like that that church of Berea. Searching these things out. You know what I'm saying? And, and the scripture says uh, to, to prove all things. In Thessalonians. We have to prove all things. Making sure that these things are true. So that we don't be deceived no more, man. Alright? But this is Matthews 24. And 11. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking, man. Because he knew there was going to be days like this where people was going to be getting deceived and falling into those traps of confusion. But this is Matthew 24 and 11. It says, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And that's what we're seeing now, man. Because a lot of the stuff that these, these false prophets are saying, it's like, man, how could someone <laughs> believe that follow after that and you know what i'm saying you'll hear him clapping their hands amen bring it out you know what i'm saying oh you deep <laughs> you know what i'm saying and they saying some straight bs and then you got you know you got jake oh man he deep i ain't never heard it said that way yeah, you know, I ain't never heard it broke down this way and that way, man. Nah, man, you're being deceived. All right, with these wayward doctrines. You know. But I mean, point that's the point, man, is just don't fall into these traps, man. Pray to the Lord to to lead you in the right direction. All right. And ultimately, you have to be of that number, of the elect. All right. But this I ended off with this. Um, in Romans 11 and 7, it says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So, hey, man, pray to be of that number, man. Like how that song go, Oh, how I want to be in that number. When the saints come marching in. Alright. Man, pray to be a part of that number, the elect. Alright? Because the rest is gonna be blinded. Alright. Uh read verse uh eight. It says, According as it is written, the most how the most high have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see. And ears that they should not hear unto this day. And that's fearful, man. You don't want to be of, of that, those, the, the ones that, that's deceived. Or the ones that they think they're in the truth, but they're not in the truth. You know, that's a fearful thing, man. A fearful thing to fall into the hands of, of, of the living power. Uh, so it's important that we do the things that are well pleasing unto him. You know, the Lord has given us the things that, you know, that he like, what he don't like, what he love, what he hates. You know what I'm saying? So we have to follow that, that blueprint, man. 
follow those things, man. Constantly examining ourselves uh, that we be in this in this faith, man, in this truth, and that we, you know, truly believe in this, that we are truly um, sincere in this. All right, because the Lord is He's coming back for those that are, are true worshipers. All right, of Him, man. That's and that's worshiping Him in sincerity, truth, and in sincerity. All right. But uh, yeah, that that was pretty much it, man. Cause we're in these last days, man. It, it's no time to be be doubting, wavering, being confused. You know what I'm saying? You know. But Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakadash. That were honest to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Citations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in true sincerity and always in charity. Barack of Thumb, Akim, and we almost out this hellhole. Let's keep on pushing and endure to the end. Shalom to you uh, sincere brothers and to you sincere sisters. Shalom.